Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna play some Universal Orlando trivia. It's Jeopardy style. I have made a couple of questions for Levi to answer and kind of want you to compete along with him. Yeah, 25 questions to be exact. So she has cultivated um, five different categories. It's gonna be mm -hmm. Jeopardy style. Uh, so they get increasingly harder as we go. Um, and I expect to go perfect. He won't do that. I had to look some of these up. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna answer on this iPad and then after every answer, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm also gonna keep my score in the top right. So if you're playing along at home, keeping score, then you can keep up with how you're doing against me. So the rules are simple. If you get it right, you add the points on. If you get it wrong, we don't want you to subtract your points out. We're, we're gonna keep it simple. Uh, when you get to Final Jeopardy, just make your wager. After we give you the topic, we'll give you a little bit of time. Your wager can be between $0 and your total amount that you have. And then at the end, we want you to comment your score so we can see how you did. Yeah, don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe for future content. So starting out with our categories, we have height requirements where I will give you a ride name and you have to tell me how tall you have to be to ride that ride. Second up, we have queues. Third, we have restaurants. Fourth, we have Name That Potter, where I will give you a screenshot of a Harry Potter movie, and you have to tell me which one it is. And then last, we have Ride Quotes. So Ride Quotes being? Quotes from the rides. Like the pre-shows or the? Could be either. Pre-shows during the rides. It's a tough category. Yeah, it sure is. That's, that's a tough one. So we're gonna get started with height requirements for 100. Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. How tall do you have to be to ride that ride? Okay, so I know that it doesn't have a height requirement when, uh, when you're in a, in a stationary seat, um, but I believe if you are riding in the regular seat, it's gonna be... ...40 inches. And the correct answer is 40 inches. Got it right. There it is, so... You know that um, one because of JP. I do, because of JP. That was he kind of an easy one. one. He can't ride it. We have done the stationary seat. Um, I will probably never do the motion seat because no. it doesn't sit well with me, but it's a, it's a cute ride. Yeah. Next up, we have cues for 100. Name that cue. Okay, so this is an easy one. That is high in the sky train trolley. Um, one of my favorite rides at Islands of Adventure. And the answer is? High in the sky trolley. Of course it is. He is correct. I'd know that cue anywhere. Uh, this is where we got stuck for 15 good minutes. Well, it was a five minute. Yeah, it was like a walk on. Walk on supposedly. that turned into like 25 minutes. You know what I think it was? It was all of those um, express passes that saved it for the end. You it know, was. it's kind of the last ride going out. Uh, but they only had one train running, and the express the express riders were just it was awful. nonstop. So. That one's burned into our brains. Our next category is restaurants for 100. This is a restaurant that has a ride that passes through it. I think that is Circus McGurkis. Spelling doesn't count. The answer is Circus McGurkis. This is an easy round, isn't it? Uh, it is an easy round. Uh, somehow I put Circus McGurkis with the Seuss trolley train back to back, but it's fine. <laughs> next category is Name that Potter for 100. What movie is this? Okay, so he's flying on Buckbeak right here, obviously. Um, this is Azkaban. This is 100% Azkaban. He's gone four for four so far. The correct answer is Prisoner of Azkaban. And our last category is Ride Quotes for 100. So you are all here because you want to work for me. So this is gonna be a hard one throughout, but I think I have this one right here. This is definitely the easiest one, so hopefully you got it. That is uh, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. That yeah? is Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. So you went five for five on the cupcake five for round. Five. It's 500 for you uh, keeping score at home. Moving on to the 200 point round, we are looking at height requirements for 200. The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. You know, I don't, I don't really know on this one. I've done this ride. I don't know the uh, the high requirements, but I'm going to say it's 40 inches. 
The correct answer is 40 inches. I'm surprised you got that one. I am too. <laughs> I, uh, I've done it once, made me a little sick, but it is a good ride objectively. I think it's a, a pretty neat ride, good pyrotechnics. It's a great ride. Yeah, I like fun. it. It's fun. So 40 inches if your kids want to ride that ride. Next up for 200 points, cues. Name that cue. got? Um, I have the Hulk coaster. It is the incredible Hulk coaster. What are you up to? 900 points? That is 900 points and a perfect score through seven questions. It gets harder. Let's go on to restaurants for 200. This is the only place in Islands of Adventure where you will find butterbeer ice cream. I think I do. Um, obviously, it's going to be a Harry Potter themed three broomsticks. It is the three broomsticks. I was wondering if people would say like Honey Dukes or something like that. Maybe the Hog's Head, but three broomsticks. That's why it's a 200 point question. It's pretty easy. Name that Potter for 200. This one's a little dark, so you might have trouble seeing it. I think this is the uh, the philosopher slash sorcerer's stone. Uh, this is where they encounter Voldemort for the first time in the woods or the Forbidden Forest. That is the correct answer. Yeah. It's sorcerer's stone. You just added 200 more points. Hopefully everyone's perfect up until now because we have a difficult one coming up. Ride quotes for 200. The trained specialist in this control room will be your eye in the sky. So I don't know this one. Um, control room makes me think of Velocicoaster as you're in the paddock, but I'm not confident. But I do have Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster? The correct answer is the Velocicoaster. I I'm thought you were going to miss it. No. I heck, thought you were going to miss it. No. Through round two, what is your score? I have 1,500. That's a perfect score. So if you're perfect, you have 1,500 points also. Let's see how the 300 point round goes. Starting out with height requirements for 300, what is the height requirement for E.T.'s adventure? See, I feel like this is a weird one. I'm going to say 38. Weird height, but let's go 38 inches. 38 inches. The correct answer is 34. Oh my god. So. Uh... I was too off in the wrong way. Yep, you went the wrong way. JP not, can definitely ride that one. I'm not perfect. You got one miss. All right, hopefully you didn't miss that one and you're still perfect, but we're moving on to the next category. Cues for 300. Name that cue. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Men in Black on this one. Looks like aliens. The correct answer is Men in Black. That's right. Next up, we have restaurants for 300. Where will you find this big pink donut? It's iconic for Universal. <laughs> um, it is an icon. Obviously, you got the big statue. I can't remember what it's called, but I want to say it's something unappetizing and disgusting. Lard guy? Lard lad. <laughs> the correct answer is lard lad donuts. Oh, you were close. I was. At least you pulled lard. I pulled, That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, on a hot summer day, seeing the word lard. Not ideal. Yeah, no. All right, moving on to the next <sighs> category. We have Name That Potter for 300. My favorite category here. Okay, so I can't tell if that's the room of requirement or not. And I'm going to go Deathly Hallows Part 2. The correct answer is Deathly Hallows Part 2. Okay, good. Uh, if you look really, really closely, you'll see Ron running after them after they tried to evade Cadabra Hermione. So that's that's what that scene is. <laughs> okay. That's, that's tough. That's a tough one. That's a good one. And last up in the 300 round will be Ride Quotes Security Breach Level 2. Security Breach Level 2. All right. Is it Jurassic Park River Adventure? Well, the thing about rides at Universal is they kind of all sound the same. <laughs> they do. So, this is going to be Transformers. Oh, that was that was a guess that I had, but... Mm. It literally could have been anything. It could have been anything. Could have been anything. Through three rounds, you're at 2,100 mm, points. I really... With three incorrect answers. Kind of took a nosedive in that round. All right, let's see how you do in 400. Here we go, height requirements for four. What is the height requirement for the Velocicoaster? 
I think it's uh, shorter than you would think, given how extreme the Velocicoaster is. Velocicoaster is wild. 44 inches. That is way too low. <laughs> <laughs> way too low. We do not want children children riding this thing. Uh, kind of a three-year-old on this. The correct answer is 51 inches. Okay. All right, I think you got this one though. Okay. Cues for four. Be very confident here um, and say that that's Green Gods. The correct answer is Escape from Green Gods. You got it. Great cue. Beautiful, beautiful. cue. Beautiful. One of the best in Orlando. I wanted to use Green Gods as one of the cue pictures, but I was very like nervous because I was like, <laughs> it's just so recognizable. So the ceiling had to do. Put that goblet on there. All right, next category restaurants for four. Freestyle cups are sold at nearly every restaurant and stand in the parks. How much will it cost you to purchase one freestyle cup? $19 with a question mark? That is incorrect. The correct <laughs> answer is $17.99. The freestyle cups are one of our favorite things in the parks. Levi just doesn't know how much they cost. Everybody's favorite category, name that potter for 400. So this is obscure. Obviously it's cold. They're wearing winter gear. <sighs> They're watching something, perhaps the Triwizard Tournament. Is this Goblet of Fire? The correct answer is Order of the Phoenix. Son of a gun. Is that Dumbledore's Army? That is Dumbledore's Army. See if you can recover. We're moving on to ride quotes for 400. You're in for a shock. You're in for a shock. All right, you're in for a shock. Electro is in Spider-Man, as is the Shocker. I did that ride once, kinda got sick halfway through, but I'm gonna guess it's Spider-Man. You don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, remember anything about it because I was blacked out. I was trying to stay alive. <laughs> All right, the correct answer is The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. You got it. Yeah, it's, it's nice to finally get one. All right, you're at 2,900 after Insert four rounds. Kevin quote. 2,900 after round four. Is that All right. right? Yeah, okay. we're headed to the final round. First up, we have height requirements for five. Guests over this height must be accompanied by a child within the height limits <laughs> on the Pteranodon Flyers. 38 inches. You have to have a child with you? That is extremely incorrect. <laughs> correct answer is 56 inches. You have to be <laughs> over 56 inches to ride this ride. You have to be between 36 and 56 inches. <laughs> okay. Well, that wasn't close. Nope. Someone needs to talk to Universal about these ride heights. <laughs> we need a more streamlined process. <laughs> <laughs> the last clue for cues. What is this ride? So I really like this cue. Um, I don't know, it just feels adventurous. Yeah, it does. It's a, good, it's a good cue, it's a great ride too. This is the mummy. No, it's not. What the, <laughs> what the, what's going on here? <laughs> what is you were so confident, I was trying to hold it together because you were so confident. What is this? Is no. This, is this Hagrid's? It's Hagrid's. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. The correct answer is Hagrid's Magical wow. Creature Motorbike Adventure. The next category, we have restaurants for 500. This restaurant in Islands of Adventure serves everything from burgers to ramen. <clears throat> so I know where it is. I don't, I don't know the name. Um, I know it's in Toon Lagoon. I think it's Comic Strip Cafe, but I'm not gonna be as confident on this one as I was on the last one. The correct answer is Comic Strip Cafe. You got a 500 pointer. Yeah, it feels good to get back on the winning side. All right, so you're up to 3,400? 3,400 and I've missed eight questions. That's not bad. It's not good, neither. It's really not. It's not good. For someone who thought they were gonna go perfect. All right, last clue in everyone's favorite category. Name that Potter for 500. What movie is this from? Um, so it's a dark feel, obviously. He's looking in the pensive. I want to say Prince, but 
Knowing you, you probably snuck one little goblet screen in there. And that's exactly what I did. This is Goblet of Fire, everybody. You son of a gun. That is right after <laughs> Albus Dumbledore absolutely berates Harry <laughs> for putting his name in the Goblet of Fire. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> that's exactly it. And then the last question on the board is going to be ride quotes for 500. Hang on tight because here we go. JP rode this ride and he was in line for 45 minutes. So I probably heard this a good 10 to 14 times. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> this is certainly one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. That is the correct answer. <laughs> I did not think anyone would get that. That was my million, Slim Dog Millionaire moment right there. <laughs> that still that. haunts me in my dreams. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody go stand by one fish, two fish, even if you don't want to ride it next time you're at the parks. You'll That's hear true. it. All right, so you're up to 3,900 points before Final Jeopardy. Could have been better. How are you feeling? Could have, could have been better. You know, anytime that, uh, that I don't do as good as I, I think I should, I'm my biggest critic. Um, so I'll look back at this, I'll watch the tape, I'll see what went wrong, and it won't happen again next time. All right, that's it. We're gonna move on to Final Jeopardy. Category is going to be coasters. I want you to make your wager now. We'll give you some time. Put that wager down. It can be anything from zero dollars to however many points that you've earned. We'll see what Levi decides to wager. I have a feeling I know. Okay, so I had 3,900 going into the final round and uh, I'm obviously all in. You are. I'm scared of money don't make money. That's <laughs> what I always say when we go to trivia. Of course. That's how we've won like two $10 gift cards. Yeah, most so. of the time it does not work out for us, it but doesn't. when it works, it works. But what I want you guys to do is put your final scores uh, in the comments so we can see how you did. Also, if you think of any other cool uh, categories that we can use for our next video, go ahead and, uh, and write those down there as well. Um, and we'll try to think of some, uh, some neat categories for the next Jeopardy that we do. And again, um, Make your wagers, but if you're not all in, you're doing it wrong. Also, please go down there and subscribe so you can uh, catch us in all the future content. And your final Jeopardy question is, how many inversions are there on the Incredible Hulk coaster at Islands of Adventure? Well, I know there's one right out the gate, and then another one, and then another one. It's a long ride. Beats you up. You kind of you kind of forget how many times you've gone upside down. Yeah, like just, halfway through that coaster, I just wanted to be done. You're just trying to, to survive at some point. Um, Always have like a headache from banging around. Like, I feel like this is a high number, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 12. It is not 12 times. It is a high number, but it's not 12. It is seven, seven. times. Seven, oh, okay. Well, maybe I just blacked out. I think, and, I mean, that's totally possible. And added five more. That's fine. Seven's a lot though. Seven is a uh, lot of inversions. I can't count them. No. You know, I can go one, two, three, maybe four, but at some point you just lose track. I have no idea what happens on that coaster. I feel like I know a little bit more about Velocicoaster at this point. Because it's <laughs> so smooth <laughs> that I can actually like stay focused on what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I just got into like a, a UFC match a getting UFC off the Velocicoaster. <laughs> I ended with zero, um, but 3, I don't- 3,900 was a valiant effort through the- It was okay. You know, I'd rather have zero than 3,900. All right, well. These are not dollars, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're not giving you real money, so just know that. Like he said, if you have any suggestions for us, drop those in the comments so that I can come up with really good questions, really good categories for the next time we do this. Mm -hmm. I really hope Levi gets a perfect score one day, but I don't think oh, it's gonna happen. I'll study up. Okay. I'll study up. It's mm -hmm. all about confidence. We'll see. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you watched all the way through, thank you. Again, um, comment your scores down below and any future ideas that you would like to see as categories. And if you are interested in watching a couple of our vlogs from when we went to Universal and did the Orlando Informer Meetup, mm -hmm. we will link that here for you so you can go watch that next. Thanks and see you in the next one. Bye.